Okay, hello guys. So this is the last question of this paper. I have had to reprint it because I messed up the previous page and it was just scribbles everywhere. So let's see whether this time it finally works. Okay, so this question is about exchange rates. Um, it's about percentages and a lot of these sort of um, concepts are not too difficult necessarily. Like we understand them in principle, but sometimes we find it difficult to do the maths around them. Okay, but let's just go through it methodically and I'm sure we can do it. Okay. So it says, apart from paying for the TVs to be transported to South Africa. So remember, the TVs were made in Japan and then are transported to South Africa. The supplier also has to pay import taxes as declared by SARS. Okay, SARS is the South African Revenue Service, right? They collect tax. This is calculated by determining 18.74% of the cost price, right? 576 TVs are shipped in one container. So one container um, holds that many TVs. We know that because um, we've already calculated that before, but now that just reiterated that point. Okay. And each TV costs 28,930 yen. Okay. So we know that there's going to be a lot of moving pieces here, but let's just see what they ask us. Let's not panic. Let's just jump into the question and go about it methodically. So it says, calculate how much the import tax will be in South African rand. So they told us what currency they want the answer in for one container if the following is true. So now there's two ways we can go about this. We could say, okay, let's change the cost of the TV into rands and then calculate the tax. Or we can say, okay, let's just keep it in yen, right? Let's calculate the tax and then convert it to rand. So I'm going to do the latter one. If you want to do the former, right, the one that, I've, uh, that I mentioned first, do that, right, and, and maybe it's a good way of checking that you can do th this in different ways, but I'm just going to show you one way of going around it, about it, okay, so we know that one TV costs, and let me see if I can do the yen sign, I'm not sure if that was great, but it did my best, that's how much one TV costs, so, but now we have 576 TVs, right, because we're doing it for a whole container, Right? We're not just doing it for one TV. It's important to read the question, right? Because some students would have forgotten that it wasn't just for one TV and then not necessarily done the question correctly. So you say the amount times the number of TVs. So this is how much we are looking at, okay, in yen for all those TVs, okay? But then the tax that we pay on that, right, is 18.74% times by the amount of money it cost to have all those TVs, right? To purchase or well, to make all those TVs in that container, okay? So we just put that into our calculator. And this is how much tax we would pay if we were paying in yen, okay? But now we know that they didn't ask us for an answer in yen. Right, they asked us for they asked us for an answer in South African rand. So we're gonna to have to convert the yen into rand. Okay. Now it's important that we look at this exchange rate that they've given us. Yeah. Right. So we see that one rand, one South African rand, is 7.82 Japanese yen. Now, what's important is the rand is the stronger currency. Now you could be saying, Miles, what does that mean? Well, it means that one rand can give me more than one rand of the Japanese currency, okay? And that's what stronger or weaker means, right? So here, the rand is stronger and the Japanese yen is weaker. It's weaker because we know that if we were to change this to one, right, we would get less than one rand, okay? So it's this whole concept of stronger and weaker. And I'm going to show you that in terms of maths, okay? So... We know that this is how many yen we would have to pay um, when it comes to the tax, right? The, the, the import tax, right? But we want that in rands. So we know that one rand equals 7.82 Japanese yen. So what's important here is that we know that if we have an amount of yen, it will be fewer rands, right, than it is yen, because we can see that from, this, from the exchange rate. That's literally what it, it tells us in the exchange rate, right? So we know, I'm going to put it here, that 7.82 Japanese, oh, I'm going to put the yen here, right, equals one rand. Oh, I don't know why I keep putting the currency sign afterwards. Oh, it's because they do it up there, that's why. All right, but then what is 3122773? Point six three two going to equal so that's in yen, 
right? Remember when you have yen, you should actually, when you have a currency, you should round it off, right? So you should probably take away that two and just make it 63. But remember, you're not supposed to round off your answers until the end. And that's why I've left it in. But when you put a currency sign in, you should only ever put two decimal places, okay? So don't, don't let me confuse you there. So we want to know how many rand that is, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, if we say 312773.632, and we divide that by 7.82, right? I'm dividing it by that. Now, you could be saying, well, why? Why do you do that? That's, that's always, that's the thing I get wrong, Margie. Like, I never understand what I must do, right? But what I'm effectively saying here, this, this represents, I'm saying, what do I have to multiply 7.82 by to get to 312773.632, right? That is what this effectively says. Let me just rewrite it in another way for you. I'm saying something, right? So I'm just saying a box times by 7.82 has to equal 312773.632. And saying, well, if I want to get that box by itself, I have to say 312773.632 divided by 7.82. And that's how I get, I'm just going to draw a box around that so you don't get confused. And that's how I get to that. Okay. Now remember, whatever I multiply by on the one side of a ratio, I have to do on the other side. So if we find this number, then we just have to multiply by one and that will give us the number of rands. Okay, so we're very close to the end of this question, which is fabulous, right? So let's take that number that we have in our calculator and let's divide it by 7.82. So we know that the box that I've spoken about over here is 399331.6665. But now all we need to say is we say 1 times the 399331.6665. And that gives us the number of rands that this this amount of tax in yen is going to be, okay? Because what I what I multiply on the one side, which is this box, I have to multiply by on the other side of the ratio, okay? So we know that that's going to be three nine nine three three one point six seven. Remember, when we're giving a final answer and we're putting in a currency, we round off to two decimal places, okay? So. It's the whole concept here is that they're wanting you to understand, right, what a currency is and what it means. And that's why I keep saying one rand gives us more Japanese yen, right? It tells us that it's a stronger currency. Okay. I hope that was helpful. I know this can um, be confusing, but if, if, you're not getting this. Go over this one more time. Look at what I'm doing. Look at my explanation here and you should get there. Okay. Let's now move on to the next question. So it says, calculate what each TV would cost in South African Rand if you had to include the import tax per TV. Now, remember we said we have the cost price, right, of so the TV, and then we have this tax that we're going to put on top of the TV, and that's going to be the total price, right? So we know that it's going to be cost plus tax, okay? And now it's saying per TV. So we know the cost per TV is going to be 28930, right? We have that from over here, okay? And then we know the tax is 18.74% times the cost of the TV, okay? So let's put that into our calculator, okay? Make sure you put it in correctly. And that gives us in yen, so I'm still in yen, 34351.48. I'm just going to put you two like that, right? For me to remember, okay, so that I don't round it off until the very end. But remember, right, one rand equals 7.82 yen, okay? So we are going to have to divide this number by 7.82 for the same reason that I explained previously, right? Because the rand is stronger, right? So it means that there will be, you'll pay fewer rands than you will yen for the same thing, okay? So we would expect that the number of rands be less than the number of yen, okay? So let's do the maths here. 
and we get to in rands four three nine two point seven seven rand okay so i want and you see that this amount here in rands is less than the amount in yen okay and that makes sense okay because we know that you pay fewer rands for something than you do when you have to pay in yen for the okay when it comes to the number because of the exchange rate okay i hope that was helpful um let's now go on to the next one this is the last question of the entire paper. Okay, guys. So it says, determine the VAT inclusive price on the amount you calculated in 4.4.2. So it's basically saying, I want, I know that you have this amount in 4.4.2, but I want you to add VAT to it. Now, what do we do when we add VAT? We say 1.15. Okay. Now, some students prefer doing this where they say 4392.77. Plus 4392.77 times by 15%, right? Remember, that's a 15%, right? They've given it to you there, but you should also know that, okay? So these two things are exactly the same thing. They'll give you the same answer. I'm just writing in a different way, okay? Put that into your calculator. So here you don't have to keep all the decimal places because we've stated the answer over here to two decimal places. So don't keep all the, the ones from the previous um calculation that you put into your calculator so i'm just going to do the first line and my first equation that i wrote there again if you type that into your calculator you'll get the same answer but the vat inclusive price is this okay remember round it off two decimal places it's included in vat remember if it includes vat we would expect this to be bigger than the amount that was in 4.4.2 and it is, right? Because 5051.69 is greater than 4392.77. Okay. So that is the end of the paper, guys. Let me just see. Oh, I just want to check I wasn't lying to you. Yeah, I'm not lying to you. That's fabulous. We are done. Okay. I hope that was helpful and best of luck for your exams.